Hey guys, this is Ketan and this is a new playlist uh, of coding. In this playlist, we are going to solve the problems using C++ language. Many many of the viewers have uh, requested this and I got a lot of comments and a lot of suggestions to do it in this format. So I'll be putting uh, a hold on the Python uh, playlist and I'll be solving primarily in C++ uh, for some time. Uh, uh, for the initial parts, I'll be doing all the problems that I did in Python playlist in the same order in C++ and then uh, and then we'll be doing the new problems in C++ also, right? Uh, so the uh, just, uh, let's just get started and the first problem is ATM. Uh, yeah, this is the problem statement and the problem code is HS08TEST. Right, uh, so let's get into the problem. Pooja would like to withdraw X US dollars from an ATM. The cash machine will only accept the transaction if X is a multiplier of 5, and Pooja's account balance has enough cash to perform the withdrawal transaction, including the bank charges. For each successful withdrawal, the bank charges po uh, half a US dollar. Uh, so calculate uh, Pooja's account balance after an attempted transaction. Okay. So the input format will be the first uh, number will be an integer. Uh, it's denoted as X and it will be less than 2000, less than or equal to 2000 and it will definitely be greater than zero, uh, which will be the amount of cash that Pooja will be, Pooja will wish to withdraw. And the second number in the first line will be a non-negative number and it will be a, a floating or uh, it will be a decimal uh, number and the precision will be two, two digits okay and so the output uh, and that is a that is a single line of input and those are the two inputs in the single line and coming to the output we have to output the account balance after the uh, you know request for transaction is either accepted or denied okay so we have some examples of uh, example inputs here so let's go to the go through the example inputs and then we'll solve the problem so let's say the example input of $30 is requested from the account and the balance of the account is $120. So obviously we can take that amount out because it is also in the uh, denominations of five, right? It is a multiple of five. So this is a valid transaction uh, because 30 plus 0 0.5, 30.5 is, uh, is present in the account balance and 30 is also a, a multiple of five. So after removing $30.5 because half a dollar is uh, bank charges, uh, we, we are left with $89.5, okay? And with the second example, we got 42, uh, which uh, act, uh, there are basically two conditions, right? The, but the second condition is, uh, is being accepted here that the $42.5 is present in the ba account balance. But the first condition, which, which is that the requested amount should be a multiple of five is not accepted right so they presented here not multiple of five so in that case we are de uh, uh, denying the uh, transaction and so we are not changing the uh, account balance so we're let left with the output of 120 dollars right uh, and in the third case uh, first of all like it satisfies the condition that it is a multiple of five but the requested amount is uh, way greater than uh, what the funds are Right, so we can't uh, possibly give three hundred dollars when the person only has one twenty dollars in his account, right? So we just output one twenty dollars, which means that uh, the transaction has been rejected. Okay, so this is uh, very simple, just some if cases, and that's it. So we'll just uh, jump right into the code uh, and see how it goes. So first of all, in the C plus plus, we have to include uh, some headers, which will be IO stream. Right, and then we'll be using uh, we'll be using a name a namespace, right? So we'll just use the standard namespace. So that's that. And now, so we just uh, go to the main uh, function. So first uh, we need to take the inputs which will be x and y so we have to define those inputs first in text 
and then a float y okay now we need to take them so we use c in function for that and the operator for c in is is it this yeah this is it right uh, it probably is this uh, i'm i'm I always get confused with the C in and C out operators. So let's just check once. Okay, so C out is uh, less than less than. So C in is greater than greater than. So this is correct. And uh, so first we'll be taking the X value, which is the amount that is being requested. And then we'll be taking the Y value, which is the account balance. So now we got both the values. Now what do we do? We try to process the request. So now here comes the if case. If what is the first rule? It should be a multiple of five, right? So x should be a multiple of five, which means if x percentile uh, five is equal to equal to zero, that's the first case. And we also have a second case. So we need to put an and because we have to uh, because the transaction has to satisfy both the cases, right? So for that we are using and. If it was only uh, either one of the cases uh, fine, then we we can just use or operator. But here we have to satisfy both the conditions, so we are using and. So in the second condition is the uh, requested amount plus the fees should be within uh, within the uh, account balance. So why? Uh, should be greater than or equals to x plus 0.5 right so uh, if let's say the account balance is 41.5 dollars and the uh, use uh, sorry uh, let's say the account balance is 40.5 dollars and the user requested 40 dollars then 40 is a multiple of 5 and 40 plus 0.5 is 45 40.5 is within the accounts balance range so we can uh, like uh, give that amount out otherwise we can't Right, so this is this. This should work. Okay, these two are for that, and uh, okay, we actually don't need that. If x percentile five is greater than zero, then okay. So that should work, and if that's the case, then we, what do we do? We update the balance, which is y minus equals to how how much are we going to subtract the balance? Uh, with it should be x plus 0.5 right because we are also deducting the fees now uh, we'll just output the uh, remaining balance right so here if the transaction is rejected we are just outputting the balance without any change but if the transaction is accepted only then we are changing the account balance right so it, sh it will take care of both the yes case and the no case Right, successful transaction and insufficient funds and incorrect withdrawal. All of them will be taken care of uh, by structuring the sentences in this way. Okay, let's just check if it is working correctly. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, there's one thing here. Uh, we have to output uh, in the in the uh, in the two point precision uh, which is given here. So for that, what we'll need to do is. Uh, We'll need to import another uh, header. We'll need to include another header, which is uh, IO manip. So this stands for IO manipulation. Uh, in that, now we also have to add another uh, thing here, which is fix the statement, and then we need to do set precision of two. Okay, so fixed is like a command. Uh, okay, a fixed uh, says that we have a command going ahead, and the command is set precision, and the two indicates that we only want two decimal points after the dot. Okay, so that's the uh, that's a precision setting format for C out. So let's run with this and see what we get. Okay, so we got 0 0.00, right? Now this we got. Uh, if we set it to three, we'll get three zeros there. If we set it to one, we'll get only one zero, and if we set it to zero, we'll get no zeros. So we can see that it changed, right? So we'll just use it two right here, 
and this should work so we checked with uh, the last uh, output let's check with this uh, sorry the uh, last input uh, and uh, now let's check with the second input case uh, i'd suggest always checking all the input cases before submitting the problem uh, just uh, just to be sure that it's working your solution is working at least within the uh, given cases right uh, so this is the first test, uh, test case now we should get 89.50 and that's what we got so it is working with the given test cases so it should also it probably should work with other cases also because it's not such a complicated one and there we go so we got the correct answer and the time taken is basically nothing yeah so th uh, that's uh, there we go guys that's the way to solve the problem and if you have any doubts please uh, uh, put them in the comment section i'll always uh, uh, respond to the comments uh, it might take a couple of days but i'll definitely respond and uh, if you have any suggestions for the videos please do put them in the comment section i'll try to uh, answer them as fast as i can uh, and please uh, hit the like button if you like the video and if you don't like the video do hit the like, dislike button it gives me a feedback and that's really helpful uh yeah thanks guys uh, share it with your friends if anyone is trying to learn programming it might help them also uh yeah i'll catch you later